Between Buzz Live, actor Zach Guilford, <laughs> Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta, and from Dancing with the Stars, Kelly Monaco and Val Shermkowski. Sher there it is. I got it. Plus, Gavin DeGraw is going to perform live. Yes. So right now, my next guest has created a brand new condiment that will no doubt join the classics like ketchup, mayo, mustard, and Tabasco. So here to show us some tailgating treats and dish about his lovely fiance, Sofia Vergara. Please welcome Nick Loeb. Hi, hi. How are you? Mark, so nice of you to come. You are stinking up the place. It smells so good in here. Well, thank you so much for having me. Well, we brought you a lot of dishes today for Bunny Crunch, and hope you enjoy them. Okay, so what got you into this whole onion business? Well, I, as a child, I lived in Europe, and I found that in, in Denmark, particularly, they used these crispy onions for toppings for hot dogs and burgers, and we didn't have that over here. I kept on bringing it back, and all my friends encouraged me to launch a company. We came up with a name and the logo, and the brand Onion Crunch. And a buddy. <laughs> This, and, is, this is little Nick. Right? And now little we're in 15,000 stores nationwide in 18 months. So we're doing really, wow, really well. Good yeah. for you guys. Thank you. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you used to be like a banker. I've been in a lot of different movie businesses. Movie producer. Sure, yes. But Diff onions are where you're different, at now. Different ventures. Well, it's all business. So it's you know different businesses. And this was an exciting new venture my friends encouraged me to do. And I've had so much fun. It's been more fun than any other business. Going to all food shows around the country with Onion Crunch and eat, going to the pizza show and trying pizzas, new recipes. It's been, it's been great. Okay, I want to try. Sure. So right now we've made you actually um, an onion crunch Bloody Mary. Ooh. So what we've done is someone told you about me. Oh yes, they all <laughs> wanted to make sure that I had a drink prepared for you before I came here on set. That's so. why they keep their jobs. You know how that works. <laughs> so what we did is we took some honey and we rimmed the glass of of. Um, and we put some, chopped up some onion crunch and put it in and just made a regular Bloody Mary Ooh, with... Uh, onions and honey sounds really nice already. Absolutely. So um, we just have a little Tabasco sauce, some Lee and Perrins, uh, put in a, a little celery and you're all set. And then you can give it a shot. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I could, this could make me very happy on a Sunday. Well, the, the honey is sweet and the onions have some caramelization to it, makes it sweet and it's That's great. great. So That's I have a crunchy. lot of friends in, in, in New Orleans who are actually making Bloody Marys with, with onion crunch. I love that. Thanks so much. And now I need to eat. So absolutely, so we made these, you know, these are great for, for Super Bowl, for tailgating, for holiday parties. You know, we made these mini little pizza bagels. They're, they're very simple and very e easy to make. You just take some sliced Roma tomatoes, put it on a bagel. Put a, oh, put very smart to put the tomatoes down first because that c covers the hole. Because everything always falls through the hole. Absolutely. And then we put some, put a little onion, onion crunch on top. We put a little cheese and we just bake it in the oven for about five to ten minutes. And they turn out crispy and brown like that. Mm. And, and it's delicious and it's great because onion crunch is low in sodium, it's low in trans fat, it's low in cholesterol. You know, a lot of moms today are getting their kids to eat their vegetables by pouring on their broccoli and all their all their salads and all their vegetables. So it's been been great. And it's, it, we can use it for anything. And over here, you so know I, that this reminds me of something, right? What is that? <clears throat> I don't know why, but these just remind me of your fiance. I don't know why. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> is this her favorite snack? No, she loves it in tomato basil bisque. She loves it on hot dogs and salads and, and pretty much everything. How does she ask for it? <laughs> uh, you know, she... <laughs> <laughs> what does it sound like when she asks for it? <laughs> not like that, though. Not like that. You're making me turn red now and, and blush. So, and I've been very lucky also. I've, I have a great friend who opened up a, a mac and cheese store called JB Mac out in Cleveland, Ohio, and we work on recipes together all the time. We came up with this great you know, restaurant style mac and cheese with onion crunch mm. recipe from JB Mac, and it's really, really simple recipe. We made, we made this special sauce, and we're sort of going to put this uh, in here for you and just mix this up for you today. And the sauce consists of you know, some cheese like cheddar and mozzarella to make it very stringy. Um, and we just mix it up and we pre-cook the pasta here for you to make it simple and you know it's it's great you know you can serve this for for literally for anything you want we did a holiday dish where everyone had had this is my favorite dish and sprinkled the uh, onion crunch on here and literally that's that's all you got it's very very simple and easy dish to make and and they've been fantastic to us and it tastes really good it's really great i love it's mac and cheese and i love that you put it in bread because when i'm having a carbo day that's <laughs> what i'm doing is putting mac and cheese in a bread bowl uh, absolutely well it's great for presentation you don't actually have to eat the bread bowl you know that you can leave that aside why would you ever do that why would you ever leave that amazing stuff sitting there that's just wrong and we, we brought for you some artichoke and spinach dip with with onion crunch and we pre-made this for you um, using Philadelphia cream cheese, which um, 
which is fantastic for the flavor and the thickness of this, which is why it's been hard to get out here. <laughs> um, and some onion crunch, um, and it's been delicious. So here, take a, take a bite of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm yeah, I wanted to keep you quiet for the rest of the show, so we filled it up in there. <laughs> but, Nikki, do you like it? Nikki's going to say it all. Listen, listen carefully. Crispy, That's crunchy, yum, yum, yum. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so there much. There it is. This is fantastic. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you having me on, on the show today. And, and listen, you know, you can get Onion Crunch anywhere. I mean, here in the city, you can go to Christini's, Morton Williams, D'Agostino's, Foodway, Fair, Fairway, uh, Costco. I'm just coming to your house. One of the two. It's good. It'll happen. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and for more recipes, you guys can go to OnionCrunch.com. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. wonderful. Up next, you guys, we got Steve O. He's coming. Stick around. <laughs>